breaking this afternoon, Marion County Prosecutor Terry Curry recusing himself in any investigation into Attorney General Curtis Hill. Yeah, we've told you Indiana's AG is accused of inappropriately touching four women. Let's head straight to News 8's Eric Feldman, who is live outside the prosecutor's office with the latest development in this ongoing story. Eric. Well, Brooke, we've been told it's never happened before. A special prosecutor being requested to look into any possible criminal investigation into a sitting attorney general. Well, it happened today. We have a copy of the motion. It was filed in the Marion Superior Court. What does it all mean? Well, I'm going to break it down for you. It means if there are any criminal charges against Attorney General Hill, it would be filed and handled by someone not in the Marion County Prosecutor's Office. Prosecutor Terry Curry says that's because he has a conflict of interest because Hill represents the county in two pending lawsuits, one right now at the Indiana Supreme Court. If you've been following this story, you know that Governor Holcomb asked for the Inspector General to open an investigation into those allegations of groping against Hill. Curry used this analogy on how things are going to move forward. The IG will act as the police agency spearheading the investigation. This special prosecutor will look into the findings and determine if there are any charges that should be filed against Hill, who has denied the allegations he groped women at an Indianapolis bar in March. We are a client of the Attorney General's office, and it would be entirely inappropriate uh, for our office then to turn around and participate in uh, a criminal investigation uh, of the Attorney General. To be clear, right now, Curry says to his knowledge there hasn't been any police reports filed to IMPD or ISP about the allegations against Attorney General Hill. Curry did say he anticipates that a special prosecutor could be selected in the coming weeks. And at 6 o'clock, we're going to break down the steps and what the court could be looking for in terms of a special prosecutor. Again, all new at 6. I'm live downtown. Eric Feldman, Wish TV News 8. All right, Eric, thank you. As the investigation into Indiana's attorney general moves forward tonight, there are new calls for his resignation. News 8 State House Bureau Chief David Williams continues our team coverage tonight with more on who's speaking out now, David. We caught up with Lieutenant Governor at Gleaner's Food Bank this morning, and she made it quite clear about how she feels about the accusations against Hill and what should happen next. The governor believes the women that came forward, and um, and so there also those accusations um, indicate a zero tolerance and violate those actions violate the state zero tolerance policy. The Thursday, Governor Eric Holcomb in a statement called for Attorney General Hill to resign from his office amid allegations of inappropriately touching four women. Since then, nobody from the upper reaches of Indiana's government has gone on camera to talk about it until now. Today, I asked Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch point blank. Do you think Curtis Hill should resign? I, I firmly and fully support the governor's statement that calls for Attorney General Curtis Hill to resign. Marion County's prosecutor announced he's asking for a special prosecutor to investigate to avoid a conflict of interest. An investigation Republican U.S. Senator Todd Young says needs to happen. Charges need to be filed if in fact they confirm uh, what uh, all the reporting of that legislative investigation uh, have uh, indicated. Republican U.S. Senate candidate Mike Braun sent a statement today about Hill saying in part, I support the governor and bipartisan leadership's calls for his resignation. About what Senator Young said about charges needing to be filed against Hill, less than two hours ago, Marion County Prosecutor Terry Curry said investigations don't really work that way. It's also important for you to note that the Office of the Inspector General is already conducting its own investigation into the allegations. You'll be able to read the full statements online tonight. Just head to wishtv.com and click this story. I'm David Williams for TV News 8.